pretty shirt. Who's on your shirt? Is that a picture of you? It's not? It's a picture of your grandma. No. It's a picture of you. No. Who is that? <laughs> now, that's right. I, I speak mumble. Okay, I'm a school teacher. What she said was, <laughs> which in English is, this is Elsa, the princess from Frozen. Show everybody your picture, please. Oh, come on, <laughs> show them the picture. You wore it here. <laughs> so shy. There. Now, beautiful. <laughs> Behold, I say unto thee, arise. Well, I'll let her sit. But did you notice how similar this view was with this view? You look like Princess Elsa. <laughs> what does it make you? Oh, you're Anna. Here, I was thinking Olaf. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> That's true, you do. You have a streak in your hair, just like Elsa does. Yeah. And I. Well, I gotta go home and watch that movie again. That's a detail I missed. What if Anna and Elsa were coming here to visit with us next Sunday? Okay, I also speak Screech, so. <laughs> <laughs> Followed by a happy dance. That <laughs> means, yay! I'm looking forward to that. <laughs> what if she was coming to your house? Do you think you'd have to clean up your room? <laughs> she dances when it comes time to clean up her room? <laughs> Ophelia, tell me that's true. <laughs> well, it's saying, no, it's not it's very bad. In fact, she says, your room is horribly messy. <laughs> oh, now let me see if I get this straight. In the Garden of Eden, Adam and Eve did what they weren't supposed to do. And Adam blamed Eve, and Eve blamed the serpent, and your room's a mess, and you blame your cousins. <laughs> okay, I see how this is working here. Oh, so therefore, well, well, they'll help you clean. Right? <laughs> just, just up and down is yes, back and forth is no. You're going to clean, right? Okay, good. If they were coming to your house, you would have to prepare. We're in a time in our church calendar when we're preparing for Jesus to come and visit with us. And so God is asking us to prepare. Not necessarily our building, but our hearts. And to make sure that we're living the kind of life God wants us to live. And to help us prepare for that, he sent the messenger. The man's name was John. And what he was basically saying was, all those things you're doing that you're not supposed to be doing, stop doing them. And all those things you're supposed to be doing that you're not doing, do them. In fact, if you spend your time doing the things you're supposed to do, you won't have time to do the things you're not supposed to do. <laughs> so do the do's, don't do the don'ts. <laughs> that make sense? I guess that even makes sense. <laughs> I must confess I've never had a more responsive congregation. <laughs> All right, I've got a bulletin for you that talks about that man. His name was John, and he told us to prepare for God. And while we are preparing, Sister Nancy's going to come and sing for us. So go back to your seats and we'll give you your bullets.